There's Carter, good look. Oh, this guy Carter is a street shooter. This guy Carter is going wild. And joining me for this week's edition of the WCC Cats Chat, Owen Carter the third from the University of San Diego. And Owen, you guys are coming off your game against Washington, uh, a loss, but you guys are certainly improving. What'd you get out of that game that you think uh, can create a little bit more momentum for you guys? Uh, you know, it was a tough game. Uh, Washington's a very good team. Uh, you know, they're number 30 in the nation right now. So, uh, you know, we did a good job of going in and competing. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things we can learn off from that game. Uh, we didn't really take care of the ball that well uh, and just trying to build off of the loss and you know find all the things we did wrong and try to become better the team yeah i mean they were coming off a sort of a, a, a punishing defeat at auburn so you were kind of walking into a difficult situation for them in seattle uh you had 17 in that game you just turned 22 and it used to be in college basketball that that was a negative to be older to be one of those guys that's not the case right now what have you learned about yourself as you've developed over the last couple of years in college basketball uh, you know, really just the mental approach of the game, uh, something that, you know, I've realized is more important the older I've gotten. Uh, you know, just making sure that, uh, you know, you're taking care of your body uh, and making sure all the little things are right because, you know, uh, you know, when you build up on the little things, that really all comes together and, and really makes the whole product better. You know, when you've been there, you guys have gone from nine wins to 13 to 20. Uh, you guys are two and one as we're taping this. And you've had a coaching change in the middle of all this. Uh, what do you attribute to what you've seen as the growth and development of this program despite, you know, a major obstacle thrown your way? The ability for, you know, all the players and the coaches to just fight through adversity, uh, you know, and stick together. I mean, you know, there's a lot of times through the, the four years I've been here where things could just go into shambles and everyone could have gone there on separate rays. But, uh, you know, I think everyone's done a good job of just staying together and, you know, really building a family type at atmosphere around here and just making sure that, uh, you know, we keep working hard and keep accomplishing things. So with the coaching change, because things were obviously heading in the right direction, um, why do you think you guys were able to sort of weather that so well uh, and not have a major disruption, uh, especially because it happened so abruptly? Our coaching staff. I mean, you know, our coaching staff is like, uh, you know, really like a family. I mean, we're so close. Uh, you know, if you walk into the locker room, it's like we got 18 players instead of 15. You know, our coaching staff is really a part of us. Uh, you know, I think that really helped make the, the transition process a lot easier. Uh, Coach Scholl is a great guy. Uh, Coach Wrench is a great guy. Coach G's a great guy. Uh, Coach Carr is a great guy. You know, just having great guys on our coaching staff makes it a lot easier to, you know, get through hard times. All right, so listen, Olin, I think it's one of the most beautiful spots, you know, in the country, not just San Diego, but where you guys are located, you know, up a little <laughs> bit on the hillside. Um, it's just a beautiful campus, sort of tucked away. What have you enjoyed the most about playing at USD in that sort of beautiful, scenic environment? Uh, you know, I'm from Texas uh, and it's hot out there. So, you know, one thing I love about here is I can go outside and not have to worry about sweating. Uh, you know, San Diego weather is beautiful. Uh, being able to wake up, you know, see the see the clear skies and see the sun is just amazing. So uh, it's been nice to be able to be in San Diego and go to school here for four years. All right. The Slim Gym, as it's affectionately called, the Jenny Craig Pavilion. Uh, what has made that uh, such a tough environment for schools to come in? Um, you know, the Slim Gym, uh, Jenny Craig Pavilion is a nice arena. Uh, you know, it's a great place to play. Uh, the atmosphere, as I've been here for over four years, is starting to get a little better. Uh, we're starting to get a little more fans in there. Uh, so, you know, I think it's a great place to play. Uh, and I think it's a, a nice nice home court advantage that we have to be able to play in such a great place like San Diego. All right, uh, Owen, before I let you go, what's one thing that people just don't know about you yet? What is it? I'm a, I'm a big dancer. I love to dance. You know, I love to have fun. Uh, you know, my brother, I got two little brothers at home. Uh, so I, I like to stay, you know, young, and uh, I like to have fun with my brothers, young guy. All right. Ultimately, though, you want to dance in March, right? <laughs> yeah. Dance in March. That's where we're trying to go. That's where we're trying to get headed to. Appreciate it, Owen. Thank you. No problem.